here again with another video and I'd just like to start this video by saying thank you to all the people who voted on my proposal through Decentraland. We just got the grant to do the full builder tutorial series so we're going to continue the series at a little bit of a faster pace in the sense of I'm going to release some more videos for you guys to help you guys out a little bit more. This video we're going to work on parenting. We're going to learn how to parent the object to the to the armature. So we're always going to start out by importing either a base or a female model. Um, so I'm going to start off with the, the base male. Um, let's click on that. All right. So now we are back at our normal stage with our body and everything, but we want to parent something to it. So we're going to just take a box. Um, this, this, this box will be used as a reference to um, any object that you want to make a, a wearable pretty much. So at, if you were in my uh, Tominoya Casino um, tutorial, I use the same block style thing to kind of demonstrate how we pair it to the armature. So I'm just centering the block on the head as if it was a helmet. So, you know, enter the life of blockhead right here. Um, so what we're going to do is if we take the armature now and we go to pose mode and we rotate the neck as you can see the head will move without the box because we haven't parented it yet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control Z we're gonna con uh, command Z it so we're gonna um, bring it back to what we were and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the box Oh, we have to go back to object mode and then we go and click on the box and then we're going to right click on the box and then this menu is going to pop up and there's this little tab that says parent. So I like to do this. It's just like a little superstition of mine. I like to clear and keep the transformation if there was any at the beginning. So now it is completely clear. We are able to parent it to the, the bones without being interrupted. So now we're going to hit shift and click the armature together and then we're gonna hit parent again we're gonna right click go to the parent tab and we're gonna hit automatic weights so what happens here is now if we go into pose mode we can rotate the head and the box will move but it's not moving the way we want it to we want it to move as a box so what we need to do here now is if we click if we go back to object mode, we click the object that we parented. We're going to go into this little setting over here. Um, it's like this little green triangle with three points. Um, we're going to go into here. This is like the bone setting. So you can see all the bones that this is attached to. We don't want it attached to the right hand pinky. We don't want it attached to anything. So we're going to play around what we want it attached to. So we're going to get rid of by using the minus button all the ones that we don't need. So we got the right hand. We're going to get rid of all this right hand, right forearm. We're going to get rid of the left hand. And we're going to just keep going down the line until we get to the spine. And then when we get to the spine, we're going to go up. And we're going to go just above. There's, As you can see, there's three spines. We're just going to go right above and we're going to keep subtracting everything above those spines. So now what we are left with is all the spines and the neck. So now if we go back into pose mode and we try to rotate, as you can see, the head is now moving like a box. So we got to, it's working in Blender, but we got to make sure that it works in the builder. So what we're going to do is we're going to click our object. We'll go back into object mode, click our object. And then we're going to export it as a GLTF or a GLB. I like to export as a GLB. We're going to go to the Include tab. We're going to hit Select. We're just going to name this Box. And we hit Export. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring up our Builder page. We're going to go into our collection that we did last time so I don't have to make a new collection. We're going to do a new item. And then we're going to go and search for that Box item. All right, so now we're going to select what category it is. It's a helmet. I'm just going to randomly select legendary. We're going to leave it as a box. We're going to say this both. 
So what we're going to do here now is we go into edit mode and we're going to see what it looks like on the head. It could be acting the way we want it to, it could not be. So this is where we're going to figure it out. So as we see it looks good so far, um, we can do some emotes, you know, dance it out. You see the head is moving with it. Yeah, we're in the good stage. So let's make sure um, one of the big things I like to try is the fist pump. Oh yeah, we're working there. So as you see, we basically just basic parented an object to the armature. So basically this relates to anything that you want to do. If you have an object that you've already created in Blender and you want to parent it to the, ob to the armature, this is basically how you do it. I just used a block because it's very simple to, you know, basically demonstrate. Um, in my more advanced videos, I'll be getting more in depth into designing some more pieces. So as you know, this is just basic tutorial. So there you guys are. That's basic parenting of the object to armature in the Decentraland Builder tutorial series. Thank you guys and stay tuned for another video.